to Canopia. Hello. <laughs> Here we are now in our uh, where we live in Spain. So as you can see here, look, the view here is very beautiful, guys. Yeah. yeah. This is a sea view with the famous rock in the area that we live in. And on the right side here is um what do you call this one? Jungle. Hutan. <laughs> Woodland. Woodland. Protected woodland. Yeah, and you can hear all the birds singing every day and the, the sound of the waves is so relaxing. I sometimes fall asleep standing up. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you fall asleep when you're standing? It's a bit weird. You know, I'm just standing here like enjoying the view and then I start to hear the sea and and then I see the sights, and then, like and, then and then all of a sudden I fall over, and I Oops. realize that I've fallen asleep standing up. It's so <laughs> relaxing, yeah. That's very dangerous. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna do today? Um, we're gonna cover the video that last time we took. Many people request for second part. So today we'll talk about how we met again, but it's not how we met. <laughs> How we met and then how we get married until we married and we have kids. So hmm. let's get started. <laughs> and then you ran like around three times. Yeah. And then I thought, oh, yeah, I like this lady. And so after that, the next date we went on was you were always busy. <laughs> working in your flipping hotel <gasps> and so i it's said it's not flipping hotel <laughs> i like the hotel that i work yeah but you're always working in it i'm busy i'm i'm, I'm i have to earn money i work so hard for myself and for my family you know so i then said all right well what about i take you out for breakfast Oh yeah, I remember that. So I took her out for a breakfast date and we went and ate, what was it we ate? It's, uh, it's like... Nasi... Huh? Nasi lamak. <laughs> nasi lamak for breakfast, wasn't it? <laughs> See, he's so weird, I eat nasi rice in the morning. Um, then after like six weeks, I huh? asked to, to marry me. No, is it? No, three months. Did I? Oh no! <laughs> Bota chantik. Mmm, Bota chantik. Mm. <laughs> We're not talking about Bota chantik. So after two weeks, he know me. Because I knew quite quickly that I wanted to marry you. About six weeks of dating you. But then my business was going really badly. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have any money. And I didn't just want to like propose to you with some cheap plastic ring from no. Chinatown. <laughs> I wanted to get you something nicer. Okay. So then I just I worked, and then finally I got. But some... then you know he always go to see jewelry shop. He asked me, "Do you like that ring?" Yeah, it's quite nice. And then he bring me to England first. <laughs> show me the ring you see the ring is nice right i said yeah very nice kept showing you ring and then we we're back in singapore and then you tried this one on and you and you went oh, i really like this one i said oh, I do you? oh that's interesting all right that was it and then and then i then went back to the shop <laughs> and and i bought the ring because my business was then by then i picked up again so you then, have enough money to buy that ring. So then I thought, right, where am I going to propose to Sophia now? Like, where can I take her for a meal? I have that's no nice? idea she's going to marry me. So I thought, where do you propose to somebody if you're in Singapore? It's obvious. The top of Marina Bay Sands, that great big architecture hotel with the three buildings on it with almost like a boat. Looks Marina like a boat Bay on top. Sands. Marina Bay Sands. And I, and I phoned up and I managed to book one of the tables 
that was right by the railings with the incredible view over the whole of Singapore. Oh, that time I worked in Changi Airport. Yeah, you were, then, the airport. you were then working in Changi Airport by then. Mm. And, and so I said, today, <laughs> when you get home, get ready, because I'm going to be taking you out somewhere nice. Mm. And, you, and you were saying, well, where, where are we going? So, to, it's a surprise, but just get dressed up because we're going somewhere nice. And then later that day, I said, oh, we can't go because what I had in mind, we need, we need good weather for it and it's raining. Mm. I said, why? I am already prepared. I want to go that. Where is that restaurant? And he said, very nice restaurant. I, so I already get, I said, let's just go and then just eat inside. I said like that to him. <laughs> and he said, no, it's not possible. You always have a reason, so much reason. He yeah. said, it's not possible. So then it was rescheduled to the Friday that week. Yeah, Wednesday and then to Friday. And then Friday. Uh, I remember the day. Yeah, me yeah. too. Sophia then got ready and I got an Uber to pick you up and on the way, then pick me up. <laughs> I then got in the Uber and you said, where are we going? I said, you have to wait and see. Where are we going? You have to wait and see. Where are we going? So you have to wait and see. And then a bit slowly, slowly we got cleaner, closer to Marina Bay Sands. And then you realised, oh, are we going to Marina Bay Sands? I went, yeah. And then we got in the lift, and I remember getting in the lift and going, what floor do we want? It was like that one, the very high one. It was, yeah, 51, and then it says restaurant, something like that. The top. And you pressed it, and then the door closed, and you just went, <laughs> it was, took off with so much acceleration, and went so fast. So and I remember being in the lift going, you're gonna and love it. Lives. And all your ears go, boom. <laughs> And then finally you get to the top and then it stops and your head just goes and then there we were at the top and the doors open went in there and this guy's like what's on there <laughs> so, and then he's Daniel Warburton okay follow me so then I followed so, 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 <laughs> so, then, so then we followed him and he took us to his table and it was beautiful table with this beautiful view and it was lovely and the sun was starting to set and then what happened next? <laughs> a DJ started playing music and it was like, oh God, it was so loud and I wanted to be romantic. And, and, then, and then we ordered the first course and I thought, shall I propose to her now? But no, I can't do that now. Then the second course came and it, the music was still going. You should arrange with the, you didn't arrange with the rest. I did, I told them I was going to propose to you and give me a nice place and all of that. And it was just, and then, and then in the end, like we were waiting for dessert and I thought, if I don't propose to her now, I'm never going to do it. And luckily, I don't know what happened, but the DJ just goes, doos, doos, milly, milly, boo. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -boo. <laughs> this really nice, relaxing music. I thought, perfect, now. So I got, I, I, I got the ring out and I opened the box and I, and I came around to you and I got on one knee and I said, Sophia, will you marry me? Oops. And you went, I said, Sophia? And you went, um, is, Sophia, is, is that a yes? And you went, <laughs> and so I let the ring and I put it on your finger. And I, what are you going to do now? And then you said, then you said what, what are we going to do now? And I said, we're going to have a wedding and get married. <laughs> And she was so I was shocked. So shocked. I, I never imagined. We just couple like not long, right? No, I just he, knew. I knew I wanted to and marry then you. You want to marry me? I, I, I have my past boyfriend nine years long, but we never get married. But then he, I thought he just joking, you know. I don't, I don't really believe him. But he have a diamond. And, and then, and then she goes, "This is, this is real. This is diamond." <laughs> And I said, yes, it's a finely cut, like highly, like it's the highest quality cut gray diamond ring. It's real. You went, wow. Mm -hmm. said, yes. Does that mean we're getting married now? Yes. What would you like for dessert? And then you just started crying and then you hugged me, didn't you? I don't know what to say. I'm happy and I'm sad. I'm, I don't know. I just. 
lot of <laughs> things going on in my head. Actually, my friend in Singapore, I told her that I said, Danny want to bring me for a nice uh, dinner tonight. I said, he says very nice place. You know what she said? She says, yeah, I think she's go he gonna propose to you joking. I said, he's not doing that. I know him only not long. I said, like that. <laughs> That's how we engage. Yeah. And, and then we and then because all my family is in England, mm. uh, all your family is mainly in, uh, in Malaysia. But they have no about and, this family. Yeah, and so and so there's no way that you could have everybody from Malaysia fly to England be too much. So then we decided to have my family fly from England to Asia and then we chose Malaysia as where to get married mm -hmm. and on Sabah. In Sabah. In Sabah, yeah. So then in the end I had like all my family and like four or five of my absolute best friends that flew all the way to the other side of the world nearly for this wedding and it was the most incredible time of our lives yeah but before that we have to arrange all the paperwork for you right we go up and down to the oh yeah I, yeah yeah because i have we have to prove that he's single single yeah i had to delete all my other girlfriends phone numbers I had to throw out all their photographs. Oh, it was a nightmare trying to pretend that I was single. Then he become a Muslim. His name is? Daniel Warburton Abdullah. What does Abdullah mean? I don't know, but it sounds great. No, it's a... Holy man. <laughs> we got married three times. <laughs> yeah, three times. First, we got married in that little, tiny little office and I had to wear the little black hat. It's a, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, it's. And I'll never forget the old guy that was mar marrying us. <laughs> he sounded like he kept forgetting what to say. He was like, Oh, And that was it. And he just sounded like he was really struggling to remember it all. <laughs> and then in the end, I had to sign a piece of paper. You signed a piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. Desaya, Darima, Darimanika, Sofia, Sofia, Dengan Mas Kawin, Dengan Mas Kawinnya tonight. And then I had to, Tiga Ratus Ringgit. Tiga Ratus Ringgit. I had to buy her for 300 Ringgit from her father. She's worth so much more than 300 Ringgit. And, and then after that, we then had your village wedding. Mm -hmm. It's a real pleasure and honour for me to be here to speak to you. Dia cakap, saya sangat bangga dan gembira, gembira kerana ada di sini. And uh, I, I can't thank you all enough for everything you've done to make this special day for me and Sophia possible. Thank you. <laughs> dia berterima kasih sebab apa yang kamu buat semua dia sungguh-sungguh tidak dapat balas satu persatu. And uh, in my in my country in England to say thank you to people we clap and cheer. So can you can you try this? Very good. So when I ask you to clap and cheer, can you please do that? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, I firstly just want to say thank you to my mum, my dad, my brother Damien, my best friend Keith, Laura, yeah. my brother's wife, little Ella. They have flown all the way from England just to be here to meet you all. <laughs> Sampai jauh-jauh datang pergi sini semata-mata untuk ada di sini dan menghadiri acara dia lah. Yeah, yeah. Give a round of applause, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Which is where you grew up. So we did that all traditional style, the traditional Malaysian outfits. And your parents had to wear. My parents chose to wear all Malaysian traditional yeah. clothes as well. They were dressed in like matching pink outfits together. And blue. And then, and then the, not the next day, but the day after, we then had the official 
sort of European style wedding where I wore the black suit with the pink rose on it. And Sophia had the, the beautiful, beautiful white, white, white dress. dress. The big wedding is in Shangri-La, so where we invite 100 people. Yeah. But that one is like, it's COVID hits, right? COVID, they Started. just they just announced it. Mm. Uh, before my parents came out, actually. But they were fine. They managed to get yeah. away with traveling. Some my friend from Singapore, they can't travel. They couldn't do it. Yeah. But then we had this wedding and it was just incredible. Right by the sea, white sand, blue sky. Incredible day. Amazing. Then we and invited. Yeah, like we had a hundred invitations, but we didn't know enough people to invite a hundred. Because some people cannot attend. Oh, it was so. too far. So in the end, we had 30 spaces to fill. Almost 40. Almost 40, yeah. So, so we actually contacted loads of local charities and orphanages where where young children don't have families and so we invited as many as we could mm. to fill up the last and so they got to eat all this wonderful food and be part of this amazing event yeah and it was just so special for us to be able to share like us getting married like if two people get married and on their wedding day they give away you know prosperity and wealth to other children and other people then that's just an amazing way to represent a, a, a relationship, I think, you know? It was amazing. And your father was so kind, he gave money, some money to charity. Yeah. Yeah, so... So, yeah, it's very nice wedding. Yeah. See this. Yeah, the marrying you part was okay. That was that was the that was the fun bit. <laughs> what is not fun? Man? What is not fun? Man? This, <laughs> this, but it's okay because I love you. <laughs> so yeah, so now we're married. We've got beautiful Ariana. We live here. Well, I live between here and Portugal. Portugal. But yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, we hope you enjoy our video. Thank you for watching our second part. Yeah, tell us what else would you like to know about mm. our marriage or any ideas and we'll, we'll see what we can video. do. Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and, and share. Yeah, thank you. Bye. Ta ta. <laughs>